Good morning, and welcome to the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting. We do appreciate your attendance, and for the viewers, we do thank you for, for uh, tuning in and for introductions. Uh, on my left, we do have brand new commissioner, Jennifer Brinkman, and so welcome to the Board of Commissioners. And on my right is Vice Chair uh, Commissioner Todd Wilchin and Commissioner Bill Avery. And I'm Commissioner Roma Amundsen, um, Chair of the Board, and for just a little while, I guess, <laughs> for one more day. And anyway, assisting us this morning, we do have Dave Durbin of the County Attorney's Office, and uh, Kelly Lundgren and Dan Nolte of the County Clerk's Office, and Carrie Egan of the County Administrative Office. And will you join me now in saying the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, and thank you so very much. And Mr. Clerk, will you begin the agenda, please? A copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on wall three of the hearing room, but to show a copy of all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the county clerk's staff. The material can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Agenda item one, or election of officers, election of 2017 officers for the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners. I will move that we select or nominate Todd Wilchin to serve as chair for the coming year and Commissioner Bill Avery as vice chair. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we elect these officers, Bill Avery as vice chair and Todd Wilchin as chair. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number two or minutes, approve the minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting held on Tuesday, January 3rd, 2017. Move approval. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded that we approve the minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting. Um, any, any corrections? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Brinkman? Abstain. Thor? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number three, your claims, approval of all claims processed through January 10th, 2017. Move approval. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve the claims. Uh, any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Next is number four, public hearings, class YK liquor license application for Capital View Winery and Vineyard at 2361 Whitsark Road, Roca, Nebraska. Okay, we'll open the public hearing uh, for the class YK liquor license application. Um, anybody to speak in regard to this? Okay, if you want to raise your right hands, I'll swear you in. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. We, we appreciate you uh, having us on the agenda this morning. We really don't have anything other than the application except that we wanted to come and, and present ourselves in person. Our application would just be to, to take over an existing winery and in southern Lancaster County, the current Wonderosa Winery. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still operating, and until all of our licenses are in place, it will continue to do so. Mm -hmm. Would entertain any questions you had. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Shore? What, do you have any particular training in the field or uh, with regards to grape growing and manufacturing? And No, we don't. Okay. Uh, we, we've retained the winemaker that was there before. He's, he's the uh, oldest single winemaker in the state of Nebraska. He started the first winery in, in uh, eastern Nebraska uh, shortly after Prohibition. We tease him he's the oldest, but he's really just <laughs> the most experienced. But uh, he makes really good wine. We plan to use his expertise not only in the winemaking, but also in expanding the vineyards. Okay. Commissioner Avery? I envy you. You are going to live a dream that a lot of people have, including me. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
We hope you'll come visit. <laughs> Trish and I have represented the Nebraska wine and grape growers for several years as their lobbyists. So oh, uh, you know. we've, we've been involved with the industry, but actual making wine and, and selling it, we've not. Mm -hmm. Do you plan to uh, continuing uh, the special events that have had that have been held there with regards to wedding receptions, those types of? Events? You know, we we uh, well, I'll let you address that. We do plan to continue with what events will fit our venue. Mm -hmm. uh, the one thing that we do strongly believe is that we are a farm winery, mm -hmm. and that our product is wine and the ambiance that we offer. So. It's our plan right now that we won't be doing additional alcoholic beverages there, that it will be a farm winery. And we're very proud of the wines that uh, Ed Swanson makes. We think they're some of the finest in Nebraska, so we'll build on that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, any other comments? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Is there anyone else who'd like to speak on this? Okay, well, according to the practice that we have, we will keep this open for um, another week, but thank you for coming. And um, then if you'd like to go on to B then. Uh, the next public hearing is a mandatory application for Leslie Meyer in connection with a class YK liquor license for Capital View Winery at, and Vineyards at 2361 Whitsuck Road, Roca, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll open this, this particular hearing also. Any discussion? Okay. And we'll keep this open also for another week. So we will close. The, we, we will move on then to the new business. On uh, five A is Lancaster County Board of, Board Committee assignments for 2017. Move approval. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we approve the uh, Lancaster County Board Committee assignments that were um, designated last Thursday. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Sure. Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Avery? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. B is a special events permit application from the Lincoln Track Club to hold a state farm run on March 25th, 2017. Move approval. Second. So moved and seconded that we approve the special events permit application. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Avery? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. C is a resolution a matter of annual salary increases for unclassified employees, including appointed directors, assistant directors, bailiffs, the child support referee, and the district court law clerks. All sal salary effect increases are effective December 22nd, 2016. Move approval. Second. It's been moved and second that we approve this resolution in the matter of annual salary increases any for unclassified employees. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries 5 to 0. 5D is an addendum to county contract C-16-293 amending the Visitors Improvement Fund grant contract with the University of Nebraska Board of Regents, University of Nebraska State Museum, to extend the completion date to March 31st, 2017. Move approval. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve this addendum to the county contract. Uh, any discussion? Please call a roll. Brinkman? Yes. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. E is a recommendation from the purchasing department and the county engineer to award a contract for annual service for inspection and repair of vehicle lifts to your next tire. The estimated cost to the county is $800. Move approval. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve this recommendation from the purchasing department. Uh, any discussion? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. F are amendments to the following grant contracts with El Central D Las Americas extending the term of the contracts to December 31st, 2016. This is county contract C-15-548 
for the Latino Leaders Program and County Contract C-15-526 for the Golden Warriors Program. Move approval. Second. Mr. Moved and seconded that we approve these amendments. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number six are consent items receive and place on file the following reports for December 2016 Assessor Register Deeds, Clerk of the District Court, County Clerk, Records and Information Management, Revocation of Utility Permit Number 1474, and Utility Permit Number 1500 allowing the City of Lincoln to install a sanitary, sanitary trunk sewer line from East Hillcrest Drive and Anthony Lane to the Shadow Creek Development Site. There is no cost to the county. Move approval of the consent items. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve the consent items. Uh, please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Avery? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Hammondson? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Next is number seven, public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to county business and on the agenda, we do so at this time. Okay, Todd. Well, um, I want to publicly thank you, Roma, oh. for your service as the county board chair for the last two years. Um, you've done a great job. Okay. Um, I very much appreciate the opportunity to, to be the next board chair, um, and I know that I have big shoes to fill. So, And thankfully, you're not going very far. <laughs> <laughs> you are now retiring. You may be moving seats, but you are um, still going to be needed. So. Okay. Well, Very thank much you appreciate for that. your yeah, And your I've service. enjoyed working with you, and we'll continue to support you, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next is number eight, announcements. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners attended a legislative breakfast on Monday, January 9, 2017, in the room, in room 1023 of the state capitol. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold a staff meeting on Thursday, January 12, 2017, at 8.30 a.m. in the Bill Luxford studio of the County City Building. Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold their next regular meeting on Tuesday, January 17, 2017 at 9 a.m. in Room 112 of the County City Building with the Board of Equalization immediately following. Beginning in February, the Lancaster County Board of Equalization will meet on the second and third Tuesdays of each month. County Commissioners can be reached at 402-441-7447 or commish at lancaster.ne.gov. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting is broadcast live, but is rebroadcast on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays on Five City TV, Cable Channel 5. In addition, the meeting may be viewed on the internet at lancaster.ne.gov under Five City TV, video on demand, or Five City TV on YouTube. Move Adjournment. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we adjourn. Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Amundsen. Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Okay, the Board of Commissioners meeting is adjourned and let's go on out to the Board of Equalization. A copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all written material to be discussed at ACE Open Meeting is available to the County Clerk staff. The material can also be viewed on the County's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Agenda item one is election of officers, election of the 2017 officers for the Lancaster County Board of Equalization. I, I move that uh, the County Board of Equalization utilize the same officers uh, as the County Board during uh, 2017. Todd Wilchin serving as chair and Bill Avery serving as vice chair. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we um, have um, uh, Todd Wilton as the chair and Bill Avery as the vice chair for the Board of Equalization. <coughs> Any discussion? Please call the roll. Avery? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Hammondson? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number two are minutes. Approve of the board, uh, approve of the minutes of the Board of Equalization meeting held on Tuesday, January 3rd, 2017. Move approval. Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve the minutes of the Board of Equalization meeting last week. Uh, any corrections? Please call the roll. Hamilton? Yes. Avery? Yes. Brinkman? Abstain. Shore? Yes. Wilton? Yes. Motion carries five to zero, or excuse me, four, four yes, one abstention. Number three, additions and deductions of the task assessment rolls. Move approval of the additions and deductions. 
Second. It's moved and seconded that we approve the additions and deductions to the tax assessment rolls. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Number four is a public hearing. Uh, this is for motor vehicle tax exemption applications, and this includes Wayuka Funeral Home and Cemetery and Zion Church PCA. Okay, we'll open the public hearing. For anyone to speak on in regard to this, and seeing none, I will close the public hearing. Number five is action on motor vehicle tax exemption applications. Move approval of the motor vehicle tax exemption applications. Second. It's moved and second that we approve these, uh, that approve this action. Any discussion? Please call the roll. Shore? Yes. Brinkman? Yes. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Move we adjourn. Second. Second. Second that we adjourn. Please call the roll. Brinkman? Yes. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Motion carries five to zero. Okay, the Board of Equalization is now adjourned. Mr. Vice Chair. <laughs>